Now in this video we're going to add our RSS feed to twitterfeed.com and what this is going to accomplish is going to allow us to post a blog on our site and have it automatically feed to Twitter and Facebook and right into our Facebook page so that we can put the data in once and let everybody know about it immediately. Okay. So I'm on my dashboard and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new feed. I've set up an account, pretty basic stuff. Now I'm going to create a new feed. I'm going to give it a name and I'm just going to call it the Selling Cars Online Academy and then I'm going to use the Selling Cars Online Academy feed. And we get that, if you remember, I'm going to go to Selling Cars Online, go to the blog, and from the blog in this top area. Um, a lot of sites will actually have a subscribe button that'll give you the same thing. I've actually got this set up with FeedBurner as well. So in this case, I'm just going to take my Selling Cars Online Academy feed. Okay, so I actually will paste that here and then let's look under advanced settings so you can see what's here. You can have the update frequency as, as often as you want in each post, how many posts it's going to post each time the content, how it actually is going to be included, the title and description, description only. I like title and description because it'll truncate for Twitter anyway. Post sorting, what the publish date, you can actually do some other stuff here. Won't get into too much, but the time, oh, and the Bitly link here. Bitly is a way to track how many people are clicking on your short li shortened links, which is, which is definitely nice to have, so we'll, we'll do that in another video. So here are the available services. Okay, um, one of the nice things about this is, it, especially with Ping FM, Ping FM also syndicates out again. So if you use Ping FM, you have all the, the the sources that this will send to at your fingertips as well. Okay, so Status Net, Twitter. In this case, we're just going to do uh, we'll set up Twitter. And we're going to go, we, we need to authenticate with Twitter. This is their new OAuth authentication. Uh, we're going to sign in and allow. And then it will redirect us back. That way we don't have to put our, our Twitter password in Twitter feed. So th then there's the UTM tags at the bottom. This is actually a Google tracking code. So if you have Google Analytics on your site, which you definitely should, what you're going to do is you're going to actually put the campaign, um, the source of so Twitter feed, Twitter campaign in this case would be selling cars blog. If we wanted to put just general blog, that kind of thing here, we could do that. So that's how to set up a feed for Twitter feed.